okay so here again don't forget to have two jars of water one for washing the dirty brush and one with the clean water and I'll start like this just wetting the paper and it's my go-to magic wand brush number eight brand you can choose any as per your preference and budget and there are a lot of links in the description which can help you figure out what you actually want or what what is suitable for you at the beginner stage where you are so this is wet on wet wet paper wet paint and we just go around like this and it blends and mixes if you add one more color like this you can add one more color so when it is wet you can see how softly the colors just glide and mix and then one technique is lifting so you just take your tissue crumble it and just dab dab and this what we are doing here is we are lifting the color off which can be done with the tissue and we're just making some clouds here and then there's one more lifting which is done with the brush so maybe later on we can check that one out again i'm wetting the whole part here using some green Doing some trees here. Again, wet on wet, and it's all getting mixed and blended nicely. Like this. Adding a bit more of highlight. Using more paint. So what we are doing here is layering. Putting another layer of paint over the other. So this is again wet or wet because we are not letting the previous one dry. If you let it dry and do it again and again then that is also layering. Again, some clean water. You can put some more blue here. Be swift with your brush. Never rub your brush on the paint or try to rub it on the paper. Be very gentle and very soft with it. That way, your brush will last much, much longer. Taking some darker brown here. You can use anything burnt umber, burnt sienna, and I'm just doing a line in the center. Like this. So, so far we have mostly used wet on wet. Okay. So 
so I'm using a lot of color in here because when you when you begin you need to explore your own style and for that you just need to experiment with the colors and play around and see what you like more so just don't be afraid to do that Go back to green so see how calming how relaxing and enjoyable this activity is and just painting with watercolors is so so relaxing so just don't get distracted like don't put the TV on or uh, you know do something else along with it don't try to multitask just enjoy the process you can sit in nature and listen to the nature sounds or you can also uh, like put some soft music so what we did here is we painted long strokes like this and then we divided it at kind of three fourths from the bottom so that it gives a look as if there's a reflection in the water here and we didn't do any detailing nothing and it just came about like that okay now we're gonna do some wet on dry which uh, some uh, wet on dry like I'm using some wet paint and this part has already dried so we are gonna put highlights like this and now you can see that the color is not mixing or blending or spreading so whatever shape uh, stroke i'm putting out down here it is staying like that so this is your wet on dry so when you have to put details or when you're doing hyper realistic drawings or something like that then this will come really really handy we can also stop at this point and just let it be like this that also looks perfectly fine as i said that you can paint with wet on wet uh, alone also be gentle with your strokes like don't try to make it symmetrical or like a round shape or an oval shape or just just be free with it to keep your hand very loose and paint it very freely So when you're painting a flower, if you're painting a petal, then to get all the all the beautiful blends on the petal or the beautiful shades, uh, mix of two colors, you will have to use wet on wet. To get that effect, you wet the whole petal and then add in colors and let them blend beautifully. So that's how you're going to do that. And then once it is nice and dry, you can add all the details like the center of the flower or put in some highlights in there. So you need to experiment and practice a lot and then you'll get a hang of all these things. So the beautiful blending is creating a very nice effect as if we can see the trees which are a little far and then again you can go and add a little blue in it to make your green a little darker like it's up to you if you feel like it you can also use a little black but be careful when you are using the black and this darker blue I'm gonna do very very less here and there like not too much and that too in this base part and not everywhere okay now the same thing we can do here just to create a few highlights here this part is not yet fully dried so you can see how the color starts to spread there so that's why patience is very very important when you're doing with when you're dealing with watercolors along with that you have to learn to em embrace your mistakes because there's no right or wrong so even if it's blending it looks nice so I'm not going to worry about it or take my paper and lift it off Clean very loosely and just trying to get that effect here. Okay. 
okay so anytime you feel you are done you can just stop if you want to go and do more you can do more with it also the effects that you get in your painting will largely depend on what kind of materials you are using so it's not necessary to have the most expensive ones but it's good to have a artist grade paint set because that will really help you get this beautiful translucent and glowing effect when you're painting okay so the water looks nice as is so i don't want to add any waves in it or anything like that i'm just happy with it how it looks so maybe I'll do some detailing here. So again, this is uh, wet on dry because the base has dried and we are just adding a few highlights like this. Then another technique is you wash your brush and then you take just some water on it and go around here and you can see how it blends so you don't have that hard line on the paper and instead it looks nice and soft and very very natural so once you start painting a lot of things then you'll figure out where you're using which technique which one you like to use more which one makes you feel makes you feel more comfortable and things like that Again, here also you can do the darker thing using wet on dry. Again, be mindful while using black, otherwise, do darker shades of whatever color you already have there. So, just a few here and there. And remember not to overdo like watercolors are supposed to look transparent and beautiful and glowy so it's not like any other medium where you need to put a lot of paint and and use a lot of color in it and just just keep it light and flowy okay so another lifting is with a brush so you clean your brush with water and wherever you want to lift off the paint, you just go like this and just lift the paint off like this. So this is called, this is another way of lifting the paint and it's another technique. So I think at a beginner level, this much is enough for you to start and start exploring your watercolors and this painting a simple landscape is very very easy remember there's no right or wrong just experiment have fun and play around with the colors and just explore it more on your own so i i hope you enjoyed painting this with me and maybe your painting won't look like this but don't give up on it and just keep on practicing and keep on improving your skills don't forget to check out the description for more